Time is money, and in trading, every second counts. Hi everyone and welcome back today, we're diving into one of the most effective methods in trading, the pullback trading strategy. This pullback strategy is not only reliable, but also versatile, making it suitable for a wide range of markets. So, make sure to stick around until the end of the video, and if you find this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to support our channel. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along, open up TradingView. Head to the Indicators Search tab and type in LNL Pullback. Once the LNL Pullback Indicator by LNL Capital appears, select it. Now let's configure the indicator for optimal performance. Go to the Input tab and set the EMA Cloud Fast to 35. Then set the EMA Cloud Slow to 65. Next, switch over to the Style tab. In this tab, remove all markers except for the EMA Cloud, which we'll be using to identify trends. Once done, click OK to save the changes. Now here's how we use this indicator. The EMA cloud color is your trend signal. If it's green, the market is in a bullish trend, and we'll focus on finding a pullback point for a buy entry. If it's red, this signals a bearish trend, so we'll look for pullbacks to place a sell entry. The EMA cloud itself acts as our guide for finding retracement points where we can plan our entries. Watch for the candlestick to approach or retest the LNL area while the trend remains consistent. We'll go over specific entry conditions shortly, but first, let's add a second indicator to refine our entries. Now that we have our trend indicator set up, it's time to add the stochastic oscillator to help identify entry points. Return to the Indicators tab and type Stochastic. Select the default stochastic indicator on TradingView, then go to the Input tab to configure it. Set the percent %K length to 24. Set both the percent %K smoothing and percent %D smoothing to 3. Next, go to the Style tab. Here, we'll remove some elements that we don't need. Deselect markers for the middle band and the background. Set the upper band level to 95 and the lower band to 5, for better clarity in overbought and oversold zones. With this setup, we'll add two horizontal lines to mark key entry levels on the stochastic. Insert a horizontal line at level 25, then add another one at level 75. Adjust the colors of these lines as you prefer. These levels will help you identify buy and sell zones. The area between 5 and 25 will be the buy zone. The area between 75 and 95 is the sell zone. How to place a sell entry. If the LNL indicator is red, this signals a bearish trend. Focus only on finding the best opportunity to place a sell entry. Wait for the candlestick to retest the LNL area, confirming that the market is still bearish. Ensure the stochastic oscillator line enters the sell zone between 75 and 95. Once the stochastic line exits the sell zone and crosses below level 75, look for a bearish candlestick for final confirmation. If all these conditions align, you can place a sell order after the bearish candlestick closes. Set your stop loss at the most recent swing high and aim for a take profit with a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. How to place a buy entry. If the LNL indicator shows green, the trend is bullish. Look for an opportunity to place a buy entry. Wait for the price to retest the LNL area and ensure the trend remains bullish. Watch for the stochastic line to dip into the buy zone between 5 and 25. Wait until the stochastic line exits the buy zone, crossing above level 25, and look for a bullish candlestick as confirmation. Once these conditions are met, you can place your buy order after the bullish candlestick closes. For this setup, set your stop loss at the most recent swing low and target a take profit with a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. If you enjoyed this video and found the strategy helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. That's all for today's breakdown of the pullback trading strategy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.